the smoke sting has probably been the most reliable thing I've ever built. We just beat on it and we beat on it and we beat on it and it runs perfectly. But I think it's about time she gets a new power plant because this is a 300,000 mile engine I pulled out of a truck that I bought out of Oklahoma. It leaks everywhere, as you can tell. Also, it's got a lot of blow by and it's a little bit down on power and it smokes really bad. But the good news is the guys out of Power Driven Diesel built us a brand new 1500 horsepower 12 valve for the smoke stuff. The problem is it's in Utah and we're in Kansas, so we're going to Utah. Hit the camera, hit the camera, hit the camera, hit it. Is it going? We are here after, hold on, let me pull up the trip meter here. After 1,105.6 miles, we are here at Power Driven Diesel. And the thing is, these guys here are probably the best people in the entire country at building 12 valve Cummins that make a lot of horsepower. What are you up to, boss man? Oh. How's the drive? Uh, not too bad. You might be wondering who these guys are. Well, they are the experts. They are power-driven diesel, and they're kind of like Albert Einstein, but for diesel engines, because at every moment, they're testing, theorizing, and pushing the envelope on how much power is possible. And uh, sometimes they push it a little too far. But I think they're the perfect people to help us make the smoke stain rip. So can we do a nice little small burnout in your parking lot? The best spot usually my <laughs> <day> comes in. <laughs> good one. If the first one was a five, that one was like an 11. Intake temps might be up there a little bit. My hands are kind of, ooh, that is hot. My yeah. hands are kind of cold though, so. Yeah, that's premium stuff. Is it metal shards in there supposed to be there? Or is that good? I'll be honest, I'm gonna kind of miss our 300,000 mile truck engine. There it is. Look at it, so pretty. On the first video that we put out on this Mustang, everybody's like, put a Cummins in it, come and swap it. How hard could it really be? We are going to figure out how to put this car together and we are going to make something awesome out of this thing. The engine is in the car. Everything is actually fitting up pretty well. The oil pan clears the K-member. I built it. I got it. I done it. This car started off as a joke in the comment sections. There it is. Right there. Damn. That is sick. First time. Is this the first dyno? Yeah, first time smoke thing's ever been on the dyno, ever. <laughs> You excited? I'm, yeah, because I have no idea what power it makes. So if it's making, you said, what, 80 pounds of boost, you said, or buries the gauge? It, it buries the gauge at 80 pounds. 80, I'd say they're about 690. And the motor we're building for it will make double that. We went and doubled it. It was 700, which is normally enough, but that's just not enough for us. It made such weak power that now we're getting down to some of the stupid things we're gonna to try to get to make more power. So the thing is, it's running out of fuel really hard. And I want this, uh, this motor to at least make a little bit more power before it goes to the final send off. So 
I think we're gonna try to put a little bit of air pressure on top of the tank and uh, see if that pushes the fuel up to the front a little bit better so it makes more power. Yeah, yeah, redneck size prayer. This is some dumb <laughs> but I think I have a feeling that this is normally done around here a lot. It made 600 horsepower and 1,500 foot-pounds of torque at the wheel, but I think the new motor is gonna make even more. All right, let's get this motor out. Let's get the new motor in. I like the thing is, most people use cherry pickers, but we use forklifts and they use forklifts so i'm already feeling better about this oh dude there, this motor has been in here Get so freaking long it's kind of sad no. it's like breaking up with a it's girlfriend a, it's a good day <sighs> okay where's the new motor at that's the question we got the old motor where's the new one at <sighs> Holy <laughs> i want to sleep with it not like that. I was like, I mean, I want to put it on my bed, you know? <laughs> it, it's a smoke stick on the top. Oh, dude, you guys knocked it out of the park. This thing looks beautiful. Power driven diesel, got the new uh, pump on there. Cool valve covers. Oversized line, stage two head, 6.1 liters now. Not a 5.9 anymore, sorry. Ah. I'm okay with that, that's fine, that's fine. She's here. Hey, when you get a fat guy behind it, it rolls on you. All right. It's ready for lifty. Where's the chain? Motor mounts are on. Forklift is good. Motor's in the air. Smoke stain's right there with no motor. Put motor in smoke stain. Let's do it. Oh my God, it's going in! Oh God, she's gonna look so freaking good in here. Keep going, you're good. Keep going. Dude, the last time we put the engine in, this happened like seven or eight times before we finally hammered on the car enough that it fit. Oh dude, it looks so freaking good. Look at it. I'm so excited. Wasn't that easy? So what's funny- Wasn't it easier to put a 12 valve into a Mustang than in a Dodge pickup? 100%, <laughs> unfortunately. See, it's that just, just better proves they're, they're better in Mustangs. Fuel's hooked up, electrical's hooked up, starter's hooked up. We are pretty much ready to start this motor for the first time. Watch fingers. I can hear anything after that. That thing was loud. Don't worry about the oil leak. Um, I did maybe forget to put a plug on the oil drain for the turbo, so. Dude, that thing is sweet. God, I want turbos on, I want a trans in it. Let's go rip. So, you see that big ass turbo they just slid on there? That is gonna be the new small turbo for this setup. Oh my God, dang boy. Right. Oh shit. That's the new big one. Uh -huh. Dude, you know it's a big turbo when you need a whole ass motor lift just to slide it in. Oh, so we had to run down to Vegas for a Dodge event and we just left the smoke sting here. Let these guys, you know, kind of get after it and get after it they did. Dude, it looks so freaking good. It's so amazing. Now the sh part of the car is the car. Before the engine was the worst part. Now the car is the worst part. The engine is beautiful.
We're ready to rip again. I think we're this time, I'm not gonna get scared. This is our second pull and we're gonna make some power. Ready? And 16 so it is in the four digit power number and it's on 24 degrees of timing which is really really mild so these guys are want to up the timing on it real quick and see if we can get it up there a lot i would be really happy if we made 1200 before we left so it's at 35 degrees of timing and todd's like hey i know this dyno really well just let me let me slide in there real quick and drive it and see what happens let's get a number let's you see a that big... smile you see that smile that's gonna be a big number okay yes let's, well, let's let it rip he's getting ready to rip it Horsepower, 110 pounds of Dude, look how flat that line is. Let's I wish people could Good. actually feel in the video just how intense. Outside, when it's like blowing stuff at you and you're like afraid the intercooler is gonna fly apart, you're like, why is everybody standing behind stuff? <laughs> <laughs> she's got a new motor, she's got new turbos, she's got double the horsepower and double the torque she did before. So we're gonna see if she does a better burnout. But Will, from Power Driven, is gonna drive it. So let her rip, see what she does. power driven have been epic built an epic motor an epic turbo kit we're probably gonna have a little behind the scenes video yeah you guys live so and get a little more detail 100%. like our point of views make sure you go over there and watch that video thanks for watching and more burnouts to come <laughs> <laughs>